Okay, this is part three of the Munchkin dissection. Here's the naked heat exchanger. So they got these two big brass nipples screwed into the header. They almost look like they're threaded. I'll put a wrench on those and see if I can actually get those to unwind. But the heat exchanger sat in here like this. This is the top. So you have a tube way in the back that was went to a pressure switch. This is a temperature sensor. I believe this is a pressure sensor, sensing pressure of the water. Here's another temperature sensor. And one way out here, I guess that's temperature. And then, of course, the relief valve over here. Now, there's a shot of the heat exchanger inside. And I cleaned this heat exchanger a couple years ago. And uh, it doesn't look so bad. I've seen a lot worse. So when I cut this open, we'll get a better shot at this. But this heat exchanger also has a secondary chamber. So the secondary chamber, oh, it comes, there's actually a chamber divider right about here. So the flame is actually in this front part of the heat exchanger. Then the fluid gases come through the tubes and back in through this secondary heat exchanger, which is where most of the condensation takes place. Here's the little uh, condensate drain coming out the bottom of it. And of course there's the exhaust. So I'm gonna cut this dude open. I'm real curious to see what the waterways look like. These are brass nipples into the header and they actually have pretty good coating of it's like a rusty film that coats the inside of those so makes me wonder if the inside of that heat exchanger is coated with that also they had a big huge massive pump on this thing so it might have really been zinging the water through there and maybe they uh, that velocity of the water kept the uh, corrosion buildup off of those tubes but we'll find out <laughs> 